Hi everyone, welcome to TechFlix. This video is part of a series which charts our attempt to make a smart buoy which takes measurements about the sea in just three weeks. Hi everyone. In this episode, we'll be giving you a summary of our Smart Boy project. But before we get started, a massive shout out and a big thank you to Giacomo, who is our first sponsor on Patreon. For this build, you'll need a lot of stuff. We have a breakdown of the specific materials in each tutorial, but for comic effect, here's me saying a really long list, really fast. <laughs> printer, PETG filament, epoxy, spray paint, battery, solar panels, charge controller, buck booster, GPS, accelerometer, gyroscope, barometer, compass, power monitor, real-time clock, radio module, pass forward, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, diodes, R2C, multiplexer, wires, brake, resistors, brake and glue. You can hear about why we wanted to make a smart boy in the introduction for tutorial one, where I have a bit of a rant. Enjoy that. Once we decided what we wanted it to do, we had to figure out how to build it. We started by designing it, obviously, and then 3D printing the boy casing. Then we created the power system using a battery and solar panels. We put all the measurement electronics onto one perf board. GPS, accelerometer, gyroscope, barometer, compass, power monitor, real-time clock and radio module. We then spray painted and epoxied the buoy, finally putting all the electronics inside and gluing it together using super strong aeroplane glue. For added stability and style, we added some floats. Cue montage. With all the sensors on board the buoy, we were able to measure wave height, wave period, wave power, water temperature, air temperature, air pressure, voltage, current usage and location. We would also have loved to measure wave direction and we were super close to making it work. But it was a massive struggle, so in the end we ditched it because we didn't have enough time. The data the boy collects is sent via radio to a base station, which is a Raspberry Pi. We made a dashboard which displays the boy's collected measurements using Vue.js. Here's some footage of the boy in action. We built and launched the buoy in Grenada, a small island in the South Caribbean. While we were out there, we had a chat with the Grenadian government, who said that something like this would be helpful in providing quantitative measurements of water characteristics. Automated measurements would cut out some human effort and human error and provide helpful context for understanding changing coasts. Although our smart buoy prototype does work on a fundamental level, it floats, takes measurements and is able to transmit them. There are lots of things we'd change if we were doing this project again or making a second version. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. Our biggest issue was not being able to change the code for the boy after gluing it shut. This was really a bit of an oversight and could be sold very effectively with a USB port covered with a rubber seal. Secondly, the algorithms we used were far from perfect. Our methods for determining wave properties were super crude and weren't even validated. On top of that, some of the sensors acted a little bit weirdly. The water temperature sensor was the one which stood out as being particularly out of whack, almost 10 degrees out from the real temperature at times. I guess we needed some more calibration. 
Although the Arduino was good, it was occasionally a bit flaky because of the small memory available when dealing with many libraries. We could change it to a more powerful microcontroller or just use another Raspberry Pi Zero. There are so many possibilities for transmitting data, including LoRa, GRSM, or other long-range technologies. If we were able to use one of these, it would be possible to have a whole network of boys around the coast, which would be pretty cool. The Grenadian government suggested that taking wind measurements would also be a helpful feature. So, I guess we have to find a way to squeeze an anemometer on the boy. Maybe on top of the aerial? Thanks for watching the Smart Boy series summary video. Make sure to press the bell to get notified when we release a new video in the series. In the first episode, we'll be showing you how we took wave and temperature measurements. Thanks for watching.